wettability of the surfaces determines many natural phenomena and there's also strong implications in many practical applications like printing, adhesion, gluing, lubrication and much more. Many inorganic and organic materials in the form of thin films have the tendency to break into tiny droplets when heated up at temperatures well below their melting point. This instability of thin films is common to crystalline solids such as metals and semiconductors and has been intensively studied in the last 60 years. The reason of this interest resides in the limits imposed by this spontaneous phenomenon for the further miniaturization of electronic devices like silicon-based transistors and also of the metallic contacts. Nobody who put his mobile phone in the oven. A joint research from three European research groups in Como, Italy, Dresden in Germany and Marseille in France showed for the first time how to precisely control the formation of complex nano-architectures based on crystalline silicon on silicon dioxide. It is possible to guide the wetting fronts of an ultra-thin silicon film via a simple pattern previously etched on the sample. Under the action of heat and in ultra-high vacuum, the available mass within the etched patches is precisely redistributed over micrometric distances in hundreds of identical replicas extending over hundreds of micrometers. The fundamental part of the research developed concerned the modeling of the self-assembly process of the silicon patches. Thanks to the optimization of the computational technique, which involved a supercomputer, the researchers were able to implement a code allowing to predict in a very accurate way the dynamic evolution in time of the real systems. The importance of this development resides in the new possibility to decide a priori a lithographic design and predicting its evolution in its final shape. Thus, in principle, it would be possible to choose in advance a lithographic design in order to obtain a complex nano-architecture performing a precise function. Finally, not all the materials can be easily manipulated at the nanoscale, not via the wetting, nor with other techniques. Thus, exploiting a technique of sol gel deep coating and soft nano-imprint lithography, the silicon-based nano-architectures were exploited as masters and transferred as replicas to other materials, such as titania and silica. A further advantage is the possibility of choosing the substrate on which the nano-architectures are printed and also tuning the porosity of the material in use. The low temperature employed for the calcination of these materials is relatively low, roughly 400 uh, degrees centigrade, rendering them perfectly compatible with the modern CMOS devices such as transistors, cameras and so on. The importance of these results resides in the high precision of the fabrication of the nanostructures, their large extension and deterministic reproducibility. In the case of silicon on silicon dioxide, the possible applications are in microelectronics and in photonics with dielectric materials, for instance for the creation of electronic nanocircuits, metasurfaces, optical waveguides, interferometers and much much more. As for the cases of titania and silica instead, the possible uses range from metasurfaces to microfluidic, gas sensors and biomedical applications. Mm -hmm.